group Fight for Rights. Tanya, can you give us a sense of what it was like for you fleeing Ukraine as a wheelchair user? Uh, hello, thank you for the invitation. Uh, yes, I am a wheelchair user and I flee from Ukraine in February 25. And how worried are you that other people in Ukraine who are, you know, who have a disability or who ha perhaps have a physical impairment, uh, how many of them do you think are stuck and can't join the caravans of people fleeing for safety? Um, I can't say how much because it's not... Um mass evacuation of people but people with disabilities are at significant risk uh, due to limited access to suitable supplies safe evacuation pathways inaccessible warning system uh, inaccessible bomb shelters so for us uh, this is the only way to be safe uh, to be evacuated and do you know of other people who are still left behind, who have yet to be able to access the sort of specialised help they may need to be able to evacuate? Uh, yeah, this is a, a lack of timely information about the situation, inaccessible formats for all persons with disability, um, lack of the communication, a lack of transportation, safe evacuation pathway via accessible transportation, especially for people who need to be transported horizontally. Uh, this is... Uh, lack of shelter for ref refugee uh, in U inside Ukraine. So it's a lot of people. And now our organization Fight for Right working 24-7 to evacuate Ukrainians with disability in support those people who uh, have evacuated to nearby countries.